Hi there, this is my first video tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert from octal, hex and binary to decimal. So for the first example I'm converting from octal to decimal and the number I'm using is 142.6 and I have a little 8 there to show you that octal space 8. Um, so what that means is that in octal there are 8 different digits in its number system. So for the first step, I just like to write each digit out with a little bit of space in between each one. So, 1, 4, 2, 0.6. And the next step now is to write 8 to a power. Um, so, starting from the left side of the decimal place, start from 8 to the power of 0 and then you work your way up from there so 8 to the power of 0 that's 1 then 8 to the power of 1 equals 8 and 8 to the power of 2 which is 64 and then to the left uh, the right side of the decimal place um, you have to use negative values so you start at 8 to the power of negative 1 and if you had more digits then you'd go up keep going so 8 to the power of negative 1 that equals 0.125 and the next step now is to multiply each number together so I'll start here so I have my decimal I have 1 times 2 that equals 2 then I go plus 4 times 8, that's 32, plus 1 times 64, that equals 64. And then what I do here is I just cover up that first row of decimal places and that gives me 6 times 0 0.125 and that equals 0.75 so I've already got the point there so now I can just go 75 and then the last step now is just to add up this bottom row and then that will give me my final answer so 64 plus 32 plus 2 plus 0.75 that should equal 98.75 to show now that this is in decimal form, all I have to do is write a subscript 10, so that's just a miniature 10 um, down the bottom there. Cool, and that's the final answer. For the second example, I'm going from hex to decimal. Um, so the hex number system is called base 16, um, so that means that there are 16 different numbers in the number system. They go from 0 to 9 and then they go A, B, C, D, E and it finishes at F and then just below in the red here I've written the decimal equivalent for each hex number. So the number I'm starting with is the number I'm going to convert is E9C.8 and it's base 16 um, so the first step is to convert each hexadecimal character into its decimal equivalent. So E, that equals 14. So 14. And again, just like to leave a little space. So 9, well, that equals 9. C, C equals 12. Point 0.8, 8 equals 8. And the next step now is just to write beneath each one 16 to a power. And we use 16 because we're coming from hexadecimal and hexadecimal is base 16. So 16 to the power of 0 equals 1. 16 to the power of 1 equals 16. And 16 to the power of 2 equals 256. And then to the right of the decimal here, 16 to the power of negative 1, and that 
that gives me 0 0.0625. Um, okay, so the next step now is to multiply each number together and then add them all up. So, point 1 times 12 is 12, plus 9 times 16 is 144, plus 14 times 256. That's 3,584. And then again here, I cover up the first row of decimals and I say 8 times 0 0.0625 and that gives me 0 0.5. So I can just write the 5 there. So all I need to do now is add up this bottom row. So, 3,584 plus 144 plus 12 plus 0.5 gives me 3,740.5 and then I just write a subscript 10 to show you that this is now in decimal form and that's the final answer for that one. Okay, so for the last example, I'm going to do binary to decimal, and the number I'm using for binary is 10111101, and it's base 2, because binary only has two numbers in its number system, and that's 1 and 0. So, I'll just write the numbers out, separate it a little bit. And then I use 2 to a power, and I use 2 because we're coming from binary, and binary is base 2. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1, and I'll just go up from there. So 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 28. And what I do now is, again, I just multiply the top number by its bottom number and then add them all together. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1 times 16, that's 16 plus 1 times 32, that's 32, plus 0 times 64, that's 0, plus 1 times 128, that's 128. And if I add that all together, that should equal 189. So that's the final answer, and now just to show again that it's in decimal form, I write a subscript 10. So it's just a miniature 10 at the bottom. And that's all. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.